Thank you, Jehovah, for this beautiful day. And I'm out here today harvesting all my Roma tomatoes that are blushing and that are red. Those roosters <laughs> are a mess. But let me show you what I harvested. So they're looking really, really good. I did get a, I did grab a few cherry tomatoes that just fell out through the holes of this pan. Let me see if I can grab a piece of cardboard to sit on top of there. So, uh oh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try to get these in the house before it rains. But I know I have a ton of cherry tomatoes to harvest. So I'm gonna try to grab a few more. And I'm just, see this little bunches, I'm just cutting a whole bunch. If all of them are done on, on there or not, I'll just sit them on the window still. Because I'm gonna be gone for a few days. So I'm not gonna be here to get these. And I know my daughter's not gonna come out and get them. So I have to grab them while I can. <laughs> I have a few minutes. I'm trying to be fast. I don't want to, um, okay, so did I cut a leaf and not the bundle? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> so there's that. It is about to storm like crazy. And uh, a couple of those are not going to be good, but that's okay. Um, because we get so many cherry tomatoes, it's it's okay, you know. If one of one or two of them are not that good, are not that great when you when you harvest them. So, but we have plenty, plenty healthy, healthy tomatoes. So I'm excited about that. Um, can I go? It is about to rain on my head. Let me see. Just cut it. Hold it and cut it. Hold it and cut it. I'm sorry, I got you guys in the weeds. <laughs> so. I know when I get home. It's so pretty. There, I share. I, sh I share with them all the time. <laughs> I still have a bunch of cucumbers in there that I harvested the other day and I haven't gotten the eggs yet so I have to do that before I go oh. let me show you I don't know why this is dying back but it's dying back but it has plenty of um, on it so this is what we're doing let me grab them before the rain come I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh. And I have so many spiders around here. It's so absolutely crazy. Like that. Spiders on my hand. Spiders and webs and everything else. But I have to get them because when the rain comes, it's going to rain real good. And um, they, will, they will start bursting open. And I know once they start bursting open, even if I take them in the house, Sharana's not going to eat them. So, hold on. I'm going to do a little salad before I leave. Before I, while I'm, you know, so I already have uh, some beef from Sharana's friend's farm. Beef cubes in the in the uh, in the pressure cooker. I have. And then I'm going to make uh, uh, beef and broccoli for the kids before we get on the road. Because I want them to eat a nice hearty meal before we go. So, I ahead and get as many as I could here. As many as I wanted to. <laughs> the other day I took them a whole bunch of spinach. <laughs> There's stuff jumping through here. High grass. Patty pan squash growing, <laughs> even though the squash vine board has destroyed most of that, but it's okay. 
Okay, I don't really even see anything else that needs to be harvested right now. I don't need to harvest any cucumbers, except that one looks like it may need to be harvested. But what I'll do is I'll tell Sharina to come out. I'll tell Sharina to come out tomorrow and look at it and see. Um, I am going to grab some basil to go with these tomatoes and cucumbers. And I'm going to make a little tomato cucumber basil salad. That'll be delicious. And I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be hitting up the road. I got to go in through Rally. I'm going uh, out to Vegas through the Rally Airport. So I'm about to hit the road again. And special thanks to, to my cousin because if it wasn't for her, none of this would be possible. None of it would be possible if it wasn't for my cousin Tinky. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Um, you just don't know how much sometimes people love you. People do things for you. They they pretty much be saving your life sometimes. They don't even know it. So, oh, my own plant looks like it's dying back. I don't know what's going on with that plant right there. So, But I don't got a mosquito bite, so I'm going to get in the house here. <laughs> I don't have anything else I really am in desperate need to harvest right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get in this house. I'm going to grab some spinach on my way in. And I'm going to do some spinach, cucumbers, and tomato salad. Might make my own little vinegar wrap. <laughs> That's going to be delicious. Uh-oh, tomato on the ground. So I'm excited about that. That's an ugly one anyway. Let me share that with the, And I was like, one day I was like, I don't know why I got so many tomato plants growing in my yard. That's exactly why, right there. I share with my animals all my tomatoes. So, all right. So, I got a handful of basil. It smells wonderful. Got my small tomato harvest. Check it. Wish I had some bell peppers to harvest, uh, but I don't. So, I'm gonna take this in. And go ahead and start and fix my salad. And oh, I'm gonna grab some of the spinach. I'm gonna do the spinach too. And fix my salad. <laughs> Before the rain comes. You hear that thunder? Oh, that thunder is real, honey. So, guys, remember. I'm just lopping the tops off of the spinach. We're gonna just come right on back, so. But remember, be kind, grow your own food, have something delicious to eat, live your life, man. Be kind to one another. It's just amazing how terrible things are out here for people. So do your best to make someone else's life less horrible. <laughs> we can do it, I promise. I promise it's worth it. It's totally worth it. All right, guys, have a great day. And remember, be kind to one another. It's free.